Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today, we'll be finding the density of distilled water, this one here, as well as biofuel, this one here. This is 92% uh, ethanol and 8% isopropyl alcohol. We'll find out what its exact uh, density, okay? And then, of course, the olive oil. This is 100 extra virgin olive oil. We'll find out the density of that as well. Let's get started. All right, before we get started, I just want to remind you the formula for density, which is mass in grams over volume. Now, since we're dealing with liquid density, it's going to be milliliter, okay? So that's the density formula. Again, we're going to be measuring distilled water. The ethanol and isopropyl alcohol, this is the biofuel that uh, I'll be measuring. It consists of 92% ethanol and 8% uh, isopropyl alcohol. We'll see how that density uh, turned out to be. And then, of course, the olive oil, the 100% extra virgin oil. Now, before we do that, you have to have the following instruments. You will need graduated cylinder, like this one here. This is 10.0 mils. And then, of course, high precision electronic scale, like this one here. This one can measure up to three decimal places, but can only rely on only two decimal places, which is good enough, okay? So as long as your instrument is able to measure uh, two decimal places for grams, I think that's a pretty good mass weighing instrument. Okay, so we're gonna get started with that. Let's first measure the distilled water. All right, so we have the volume of distilled water here is 10 mils. Now, I look at the graduate cylinder and it's a 10 mils plus or minus 0.2. So it's possible it may be off by 0.2, depending on the instrument itself, how it's calibrated. But we're gonna just say that it's 10.0 mils for now. I have this electronic balance gill ready, and we're gonna measure that. We're gonna set this to zero, so press tar. And then I'm gonna pour the distilled water in here. Making sure I can get every ounce of droplet into, which is, that's the problem, right? There's, I can see there's a little bit of uh, water along the glass. Hopefully that not gonna affect the reading too much, but I think it does by a 0.1 or so. And yeah, and look at that, it's 9.871. Okay, so let's look at the calculation. We have the density being mass over volume. We know that the mass is 9.871. And now the one, you know, the last uh, thousand grams, I don't know if I can rely on that too much, okay? But we'll just keep that for now. And then the volume was 10.0 mils, okay? And so that would mean that the density is a 0 0.987 grams uh, because the uh, measurement for the volume is only three significant figures. So we're gonna keep to three significant figures for this density uh, measurement, so 0.987. And that is okay. I mean, we know the density of water is 1.0, and this is a little bit off by uh, 0.01, actually, 0.01 grams. So it's not bad. So if I, for example, if I round this to two decimal places, 0.99 grams per mils, right, which is close to you know, 1.0 grams per mil. So for more precise or accurate measurement, I think I have to maybe change this instrument. This 10 mils uh, graduate cylinder plus or minus 0.2, I don't think it's good enough. I might get the volumetric uh, pipette, which is gonna be more precise and accurate than this graduate cylinder, okay? But anyway, for now, yes, it's around 0.99 grams per milliliter or 0.987 grams per milliliter. It's the density of this distilled water. Not bad. Okay, so let's try olive oil. Okay, so we have 10 mils of olive oil. Now we're gonna try to measure that. Let's turn on our instrument to zero. Okay, let's press tar to zero. Then measure the mass. What do you think the density of oil will be? Is it more or less than water? Well, if you know how uh, oil float in water, so hopefully you suspect that the density of oil will be less 
than uh, water, okay? So it'll be definitely less than 1.0. And let's see how true this is, all right? There we go. And it seems like we have mass uh, is 8.566 grams, all right? And then we have the volume as 10.0 mils. So that means the density would be 8.566 uh, gram per 10 mils, which is equal to 0.857 grams per mil. Yes, so you can see that the density of olive oil, this extra virgin 100%, is less than water. Water was 0 0.987, whereas this is 0 0.8. Five, seven. So 987 versus 0.857. So definitely the density of olive oil is less than water and therefore it will float. Makes sense. Okay, so lastly we have biofuel. We're going to measure. We have 10 mils of biofuel. And let's measure the weight. Okay, so now let's see. 10 mils of biofuel, which is 92% ethanol and 8% isopropyl. Let's see how that is going to be. Make sure I got everything here. The mass is 7.854 grams and the volume is 10.0 mils. So that means the density must be, let's see, 7.854 grams per 10.0 mils. So 0 0.78 five four well because of the um three second figures only so it's gonna be uh point seven eight five grams per mil okay so that would mean that this biofuel is even less dense than the oil from ranking you have water right being most dense followed by olive oil which is point eight Five, seven grams per mil and then of course the uh, biofuel which is 92% ethanol and 8% uh, isopropyl is only 0.785 grams per mil. All right cool now we know that they have different density and hopefully you can use this and apply this to your class or if you're doing this yourself hopefully you enjoy the experiment just make sure you have the proper equipment precision electronic weight a better, I think better to get a volumetric pipette than the gravity cylinder because this one is not as accurate as I want. It has plus and minus 0.2. I think the volumetric pipette, the 10 mils one is even more precise than this, maybe 0 0.05 mils accuracy, but depend on uh, you know the instrument you want to buy. The more accurate and precise it is, the more expensive it will be. This one, you know, cost me only ten dollars, I believe, so it's not as expensive. If I want to get a more better reading, I think I should get a volumetric uh, pipette, and I think that would give it a better measurement of density. However, if I'm doing comparison between these three substances, I don't think it matters too much as long as I know that relative to each other, they're pretty accurate. But you know, in terms of absolute measurement of density, this instrument may not be the best for that, okay? Alright, thanks for watching, educatetube.com.